today we will be uh, dealing with very crucial questions that uh, would be everybody's questions. So we are now uh, in the position in which we should answer uh, to these questions. Okay. Now the first question uh, is this. This is everybody's question. The first question is this. Why did God allow Satan dwell with Adam in the Garden of Eden? You know, our Almighty God, uh, he could have stopped doing this kind of uh, thing, but uh, he allowed them. Now, prior to that, the question is this, why didn't God cast Lucifer into hell immediate after the fall, which we have studied that previously? Okay? See, you, you look at that, this, always you draw this chart here. Okay? Now, this is the fall of Satan right here. Prior to do that, creation, and prior to, before creation, and creation at the time, angel created, angel created right here. Then after the creation of the angel, the angel got fallen right here. Angel got fallen here. This is a eternity, eternity, eternity. Angel got fallen. The, our question is this. When angel got fallen, why God did not have angel, okay? He did not cast the angel down to hell immediately. If he did so, if this fallen angel got into the hell, then no need for Jesus coming. Would you write that down, okay? No need for Jesus coming. And also, no need for Adam's fall. Then, no need for proto-evangelion. If our God arrested the Lucifer and his followers and put them into the hell immediately upon their fall. So let me say again, no need for Jesus coming. You have to tell them again, no need for Jesus coming. No need for Adam's fall. And no need for the proto-evangelion. One more. No need for 7,000 years this world. No need for 7,000 years this world. So I, I've given you four of them. First is no need for no need for huh? Jesus coming. Second, no need for Adam fall. Third, no need for Proto-Evangelion. And no need for 7,000 years this time world. Just, you just teach them one by one. Okay? Now, so, actually, God casted Satan. When casted Satan? Here. Right before the judgment, that is Revelation 20.10. Judgment is Revelation 20, verses 11, 12. So, verse 10, before the verse 11. So, right before. So, right here, this is a judgment. After 7,000 years, at the completion of the 7,000 years, and judgment took place, okay? That will take place. But according to the Bible, 
right before the judgment. Okay? Which is Revelation 20.10. Finally, Jesus will arrest Satan and his followers, demons and devils, and casting them into the lake of fire. Lake of fire, which is Revelation 20.10. Lake of fire. The after arrested that put them into the lake of fire, then judgment start. Judgment. Okay. How to make the judgment? You see, here, he, God, raged all these people in the hell. Satan children in the hell. Okay. This is a hell here. Satan children in resurrected. Resurrected. That is uh, John 5.29. John 5.29 said, okay, after putting, after casted Satan and demons and devils into the lake of fire, after that, then God raised up. Okay. Unbelievers, Satan children who have been in the hell, okay, he will resurrect them. He will resurrect those non Christians standing before the judgment seat. Standing before the judgment seat. Okay? So after the judgment, then these people will go down to the lake of fire. That is Revelation 20, 12 to 15. You see, right after Revelation 20, verses 13 to 15, sorry, 13 to 15. Are you with me? That's, that's a procedure. Okay? Let me repeat here. At the end of the 7,000 years, first thing is what? This. God will cast Satan and Devils and demons into the lake of fire. Second thing, second thing is this. God, he will raise up God's uh, Satan children from the hell and standing before the judgment. And after the judgment, he will put them to where? Lake of fire. That, that, that's a scenario, scenario. Are you clear? Yes. That's a scenario. Now, see now, this is scenario, but now our question is this. When Satan got fallen, okay, Jesus, our God, had that plan. He, his plan. No one knew that. But that was in his plan that he will, instead of casting the fallen angel immediate after the fall. Okay? But it was God's plan that he will create 7,000 years this world upon the fall of Adam. So, fall of Adam was the what? God's design or not? It's God's design. Now, some people will say, Dr. Wang, I don't believe that. I don't care whether you believe it or not. When you tell people that, I don't care whether you believe it or not. This is what the Bible said. Now, then let me see. Why didn't God stop the falling of Lucifer? 
then our end say that our God is Almighty God. He could have, He could have stopped it. Are you with me? He could have stopped it because He's an Almighty God. But He did not. God did not stop it. Now, then our question is, why he did not stop it? Because that was the fall of, see, fall of angel, fall of Lucifer was God's, God's will. It was his will to create the what? To create 7,000 years this world, this world. Later we will see that 7,000 years this world is what? The, the school of the purpose of creation. It was God's will to open up the creation purpose school. Jesus is the principal of the school and Satan is a vice principal of the school, and we Christians are students of the school, and Satan children are bad teachers of the school. Let me repeat principal Jesus, vice principal Satan, and bad teachers. Non Christians and students, God's children. That was a God's will, God's, God's idea and His plan. Okay? So now He see all things, happenings are under the will of God. This is a very important concept. All things, how we know? Jesus said so. Matthew 10 29. Even including the fall of Lucifer, all things means including fall of Lucifer. Okay? That was under the will of God. Not just happened by chance. Okay? Not just uh, happened because of some, someone, someone is wrong. It's, it, it's not that idea. It was perfectly the, under the Will of God, okay? See, without the will of God, without the will of God, nothing will take place. So everything is taking place, happening in our eyes, all under the will of God. How do we know? Jesus said right here, even a sparrow, don't forget that. We studied that already. Even a sparrow not fallen on the ground apart from the will of God. See? Even a sparrow would not fall on the ground apart from without the will of God. Apart from will of God. Means Everything happening in our eyes, okay, are all involved in the will of God. That's the very powerful biblical teachings. God's will. God's will means God has a purpose behind that. Now, Allowing Satan to dwell with the Adam in the Garden of Eden now. You see, instead of, this is a very important question. Instead of, you see now, God did not cast Satan and his followers into the lake of fire immediately after the fall. Until this time, you know that. Okay? Now, with that idea is this. Okay? Instead of he, God, uh, 
allow Satan to dwell in some place far away from the Garden of Eden. Okay, would you write that down? Okay, instead of far away from the Garden, uh, uh, Garden of Eden. In other words, that he would, he would prohibit, he would prohibit Satan, okay, not to come near Adam. He could have that, okay, but instead, it is our question, why our God allow the, the Satan dwell together with Adam in the Garden of Eden? Okay, instead of having the Satan all far away eh, from that Garden of Eden, not even come near to Adam. It, it, it is our question. Okay, why living together with Adam? Hmm? Then your answer will be what? It was the will of God fulfilled. Because every movement, everything taking place, okay, is what? To fulfill the will of God. So, living together with Adam was the will of God. What will to, to let Adam be tempted to eat that, okay, the fruit of the tree of the good and knowledge of the good and evil. So it was God's will to have Adam to be tempted and eventually to fall. Why Adam should fall? To establish the 7,000 years this world. Dropping him down to time world. That was God's will. It was God's design that he would he would establish 7,000 years this world, time world, okay, which we call it the creation purpose school to train God's children, the purpose of creation. Now, just don't forget that. This 7,000 years, it seems to us, would you write down this word? It seems to us very long period. It seems to us very long period. However, in the eyes of God, that is not a long period. You, then you draw this, this is eternity. And 7,000 years is very short and eternity. Eternity. So the 7,000 years is just like a small dot. Small dot. You know dot? Here. In the eyes of God, the 7,000 years time world, time world is very small in comparison with eternity, okay? It's like one dot, dot, a dot. Now, within that dot, we, God's children, you write that, write this idea, you write down, the, within that dot, we live here less than 100 years. Some people 50 years, some people 70 years, 80 years. Maximum 100 years. Then we will go back to our hometown. So our school year is not 7,000 years in our lives. Only less than 100 years. 
write down all this information, okay? So it's not a long period. We do not live here in 7,000 years. We only live maximum 100 years to, to learn, to train, to be trained the purpose of creation. So, always you look at this world from God's perspectives, from God's perspective, His eyes, not from our perspectives, means not from our eyesight. Our eyesight is a long period, but in the eyes of God, it is very short. That's why Paul said this, and Peter said, that we are, we Christians, okay, we are just, uh, we are strangers. In other words, visitors in this world. We are temporary visitors in this world to be trained. But Paul says in Ephesians that, uh, not in Ephesians, in Philippians, he says, Philippians 3.20, he said that our, we are citizens of the kingdom above. We are citizens, kingdom citizens. Although we are living here as a stranger, as a temp visitors, but our citizenship is above here, eternity. So now, even you and me living in this limited time world, always we, are, we have that vision that my citizenship is above. Meaning, I have a kingdom passport with a visa. Kingdom passport and visa. Upon the finishing my life here, then I will immediately visit and going back to my original home. Okay? Now, the, this lecture question, why did God allow Satan to dwell with Adam in the Garden of Eden? That's the question then you should be able to answer. Okay? Amen. Amen.